Hello pretty people. Welcome back to Indie Swad. I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded a video. Well, I'm back here with a new recipe. So what we are going to make today is full of lots of greens, proteins and of course health. So today we are going to make palak paneer. For this, take a bunch of freshly washed and drained palak that is spinach. Then in an open vessel heat 2 cups of water and add half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of turmeric powder now we will add the spinach leaves into this water and heat them on a low to medium flame for just a few minutes until these leaves start turning soft and mushy by doing this we are not only getting rid of the raw pungent flavor of the spinach leaves that most of us dislike but also the turmeric being an antimicrobial helps us get rid of the germs and bacteria remaining on the leaves because of the pesticides added to them after they turn soft we will sieve them out and keep them aside to cool down for the next step in a mixer jar take 3 green chilies 3 garlic cloves a small piece of ginger and add the cooked and cooled down spinach leaves along with two ice cubes now close the lid and grind these contents into a smooth paste here in the video you can see that we have obtained a very smooth paste keep this aside next in a mortar take 1 inch of cinnamon stick that is dalchini one cardamom pod elaichi and a few cloves that is long With a pestle, crush these lightly as shown in the video. You can see that we have not crushed them into a powder. Now, in a pan, heat one tablespoon of butter or ghee according to your liking. Wait for the butter to melt completely. Now the butter has melted, so we will start adding the paneer pieces to roast them. roast them on a low to medium flame keep sauteing continuously roast on both sides until they turn golden color you can see here that we haven't fried them too much now these are ready to be taken out of the pan take them out and keep them aside we will use them later After roasting the paneer pieces now that we are left with some butter in the pan we will add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and a teaspoon of cumin seeds and saute until they start spluttering keep your flame low now to these add previously crushed spices and saute once again next add two medium sized chopped onions and saute saute until they start turning soft now add a pinch of salt and mix well keep cooking like this for about 3 to 4 minutes and you will see that the onions have started changing color now that they have turned golden brown add a tablespoon of kasuri methi and mix them To this add 3 tablespoons of tomato puree. Saute on a medium flame until all the flavors are properly absorbed. Now add half a teaspoon of red chili powder and 1 by 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. If you like it on the spicier side, you can add more amount of red chili powder. Also add half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Now saute it for the last time until the mixture starts turning aromatic and gives out flavors. Now add the ground spinach mixture to make it into the gravy. As you cook this mixture, you will observe that it has started coming together. So to make it into a gravy, we will add half a cup of water 
and keep cooking it on a low to medium flame for about 3 to 4 minutes. To the gravy, add salt according to taste and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Mix these well with the gravy and heat it until it starts boiling. Once the gravy starts boiling, lower the flame and add the roasted paneer pieces to it. Combine them properly with the gravy and keep cooking on a low to medium flame for about 3 to 4 minutes. And now for the final touch, add about half a cup of fresh cream and mix it with the gravy. Guys, our curry is now cooked. So we will turn off the flame and mix it well with the fresh cream. And here we go. Our yummy, mouth-watering, delicious, flavorful palak paneer curry is ready. You can serve it with plain rice, fried rice, roti, naan, chapati or anything that you like. Well, this is one of those must-try dishes that I am sure that each one of you will definitely love. So guys, that's all for today's recipe. Hope you liked it and will definitely try it out at home. Do subscribe to our channel Indieswad and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. See you again in a new video with a new recipe. Till then, goodbye and take care.